Bro's not out. Bro's um in the he's in a loser to top eight qualifier. We know he is in top eight. All right, so we have the Georges Roy versus Lou Banjo. Uh, no, Bro's not. You're fine there. Um, the Sainsbury's sponsor is surviving. Yes, indeed. Okay, so uh, Banjo Roy. I'm guessing this is kind of just a classic of Roy w wants to kind of hold forward and then do 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 the Roy thing. Mm -hmm. For the I most mean, part. you say hold forwards, but George has been pretty restrained when I Yeah, him yeah. I mean, I think he'll hold forward if he knows, like, the player well enough in, at any given point, and he can be like, okay, now I can hold forward. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. But, like, so far, kind of, kind of like, neither here nor there between both players. Quite even. Both chipping away at each other. And the names are the right way around. Okay, yeah, I've got the right way around. Double so checking. Far. Right then. My guesses are accurate hundred percent of the time. Cool, cool. But yeah, just a fairly slow place game here, pretty even percent wise. Yeah. Okay, going going to the center stage with one ring, pretty okay there. Don't want to be stuck at ledge with Roy. I don't know, I feel that was risky, oh. okay. So George's gonna first start there. But the problem with the Wonder Wing in that position is it's still quite reactable and Yeah, and Roy's fast run, yeah, as well. Run in and F totally ref smashed, which probably would have killed at that percent. Yeah, fair enough actually. Landing up there into twenty five percent. Ah, uh, it's only 25 percent. Ah, yeah, well, I mean, it's all it's all relative in this game. Like how much damage is a lot of damage. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Because like, there's some characters that will just be like, "Hey, you're at 60 or 70 off of like, I don't know, a, a combo starter after they've like chipped away a little bit." Roy is kind of just like pretty good damage, and he's just really good at just keeping you in disadvantage. Yeah, safe buttons, fast, and kills really early. Ooh, Wonder Wings out of the corner. Not right, quite killing though, because he got the sour spot. Oh yeah, and even though that percent is still not going to take it to sock. Oh, <laughs> okay, wake up DP from George. Still living at 177. Lewis going for the reset there. That should be death, yeah. Alright, and uh, <laughs> Lou with quite a big deficit now. Well, I'm actually genuinely surprised that F-Smash did not hit Yeah, Jarvis. I know, it's like a weird Ganon blind spot on that or something. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Being saved by yeah. the grenade there. Yeah, he was definitely dying to some sort of, sort of punish otherwise. Uh, that was a terrifying scenario. I was looking at that and going, oh no, please, that F-Switch is not going to hit, is it? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, looking at this game, look, it looks like Lou's gotten a bit unlucky and he's kind of just missed a lot of opportunities to steal this first stock. And now here he is at 93 on his last. See, here he is doing his little, um, his neutral B setups and he's still at 192. <laughs> yeah, John has been immaculate with his spacing around Lou's stuff. Yeah. He kinda just wants to take this stock, and then maybe see about it, like, I mean, I don't know, this game, probably a lost cause, but like, eh, who am I to say that? Stranger things have happened. Yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna be a struggle, that's gonna do it though. Alright, yeah, so... You ain't that. mashing out of that, I don't care yeah, what no. Japanese Ike player you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, lose still a massive deficit here, any solid hit from uh, George is gonna end the game right now. Yeah, you might as well just like, kinda... Get a, get a good feel for for the I matchup again. I thought you again. already had dropped Cloud Corner. I thought you were a dock man now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. Oh no, he messes it up. Yeah, I got the sour fair or bear. I didn't see, but yeah. And also, you can't drop someone for dock because everyone in the world is bad at dock. Facts. Right, Roy's up uh, throw kind of sucks. Yeah, it got nerfed <laughs> quite a lot, which is perfectly understandable. Do oh, you yeah. really want to give a character that's that much damage and is that fast a kill throw? <laughs> I mean, I don't like Samus having a kill throw from anywhere, but oh, like... Oh yeah, that, that is horrific. With a, with a does, tether. Why does Samus have that? Yeah, oh, okay, wow. yeah, that's fair. Killing at 190-ish, so... Yes. Georgia's taking the first game. That was a very commanding game mm -hmm. for Georgia's, for sure. And for... A good while longer, we're still going to be doing best of threes, so this could be uh, this could be the end of Lou's run. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, this is winners. <laughs> yeah, this is winners. I have to fight the loser, that's right. Mm -hmm. This could be the end of my run. <laughs> I, KP appearing in the chat as we slander Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not really slandering Samus, I'm just saying that I think she's really boring. She's fun to watch, but I hate playing versus her. Actually, no, I say that, but playing versus her, Sheik is not that bad. I think I prefer playing against her to watching her. Sounds weird, but... I don't know, like, <laughs> wa watching Siski or Quake is always entertaining. Yeah, it's like, uh, I, I think... I don't know, I don't mind fighting Samus, and I don't find, mind fighting... I actually like fighting Pac-Man, but I don't like watching either of them. 
Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not slamming right. her by am. Anyway, Roy and uh, Banjo. Shawnee T, that's me. Okay, uh, going to Smashville. Uh, Lou actually seems to like this stage. He carry picked to it earlier on when he was against, um, I think, uh, Nathan Bonecrush. Yeah, it's something? potentially just the stage he's had a lot of practice counter picking on. Yeah, it's like, or a, like doing his setups, I should say. The middle platform kind of zone is content to kind of just like build a house there. And, uh, oh, he had the read, but he didn't. <laughs> it's, it's a very loose situation where he'll like land the setup and then miss the follow up. Well, I think um, after drag down there with Banjo, I think depending on like. A few factors, like sometimes I think fall speed is and weight has something to do with it. Yeah. You might not always have a true follow up, so charging an F smash is like a way to punish spot dodge, which is like the way to avoid grab after drag down there. Yep. And then sometimes you'll charge it the other way because sometimes they'll roll to avoid it. It definitely makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually there's like so many weird little f things about Banjo's near that like make him have reasons for doing different things for follow ups and stuff. But yeah, uh, Lou already off to a much better start, taking the stock. Yeah, like, taking the first stock first, which is pretty good. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was definitely yeah. bad DI. He shouldn't have died there. Yeah, that was a bit off. So, we've got an up B, and a down throw up top from Lou, and both stocks are even. Yeah, it's just a fairly even game here. Yeah. Oh, two side Bs. <laughs> up hey, okay, I hit it. Three. <laughs> what? I'd never see people fall out of Roy's up B, that was weird. It was just the angle of it, I presume. Yeah, some weird platform stuff, maybe. Yeah, Joe just slowly just starting to he's kinda just advantage like advantage here again. Yeah, he's kinda just like getting in his space in neutral and he's he's not getting any like huge combo starters or anything, but he's definitely like kinda chipping away a bit better than Lou is right now. Most definitely. That being said, oh, okay, maybe a bit early to be uh, reaching for stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be big, but Banjo a heavy boy. Big Thanks bear. Living that F smash. But yeah, it's the sort of thing where Roy can, if he predicts it, just dash away from the Wonder Wing and land a fairly solid punish on it. Yeah. Oh, that back here. I need to see the hitbox visualization for that because I feel sometimes I feel like. It's just there, and you get hit by it. <laughs> the hitbox is It's just big. there. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, that, that up is terrifying. It does, like, so much damage. That must be... invincible frame one. Yeah. Not invincible, but armored frame one. Yeah. That... I think it... I thought it was frame, like, four or three. No, it's actually frame one. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, that explains why he can up B while he's getting hit by leaf shield, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lucina's one is frame four on the ground. Frame ah, okay, yeah. That'll be what you're thinking of. Maybe, yeah. That's probably it. Oh. I mean, I like the fake height, but and he maybe had the right idea. That shield was very close <laughs> to dying there, yeah. He's like giving Lou a taste of his own medicine just by kind of like F smashing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that was peak smash ultimate right there. They're just they're both just playing to make each other look like dumbasses. <laughs> it's like, no, you're gonna fall for this. Nah, you're gonna fall for this. <laughs> it's the epic. Oh, mind of that was very nice. That was nice, but like big bear. <laughs> I mean, it's a shame it didn't kill because that's the thing you. Yeah, that was really. That was that. That's that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the you're gonna roll. All right, George is definitely on on point with those uh roll and tech chases, yeah, roll reads and tech chases. A solid read, uh, and you will now be fighting Lou. Yes, I um, presume we'll just put that on stream because there's nothing else to put on stream right now. Um, I think so. Yeah, I'm. You can I'm, go gonna, ask, I'm you gonna. I'm gonna go quickly. Ask. I'm gonna quickly nip to the Lou, and then I'll play him. Very quickly. Yes. Right, I'll hold down the forward temporarily here until.